If I gave you some code that had an array of objects inside and asked you to create separate groups for those objects, how would you go about doing it? Would you maybe use a reduce function or several filter functions to filter the items into different properties? Well, whilst both of those ways will work, there's a new way to group related items together from an array in JavaScript. So in this video, I'm going to introduce you to the group by function. And we're going to take a look at how you can use it to group related items from an array. And then we'll take a look at some practical examples of when this might be useful for you. But first, let's have a look at how you might create groups of related items from an array using the reduce or filter functions. Let's say we've got an array of animals, such as dogs, cats, and fish, because as developers, that's the kind of thing we write code for, right? Anyway, let's say that's the array of data that we're working with. And let's also say that we know the strings of the animal types that we want to group together. If we know the animal types in advance, we can create a new object with the animal types as properties and filter the array several times to get each of the items for each group. But as you can imagine, this is quite wasteful as we're looping through the array multiple times. So instead of using the filter function, we could use a reduce function to loop through the array once and reduce the array down into an object, putting each animal into their corresponding category using their type. This does work. However, we've got a bit of a headache in managing the keys in the final object. In other words, if we don't know the names or the types of the groups that we're creating in advance, we need to put a check in the reduce function to see if we should be putting each item into a new array or adding it to an existing one. So to overcome these sorts of problems, there's a new JavaScript function available which will do all this for us in one line of code. So let me introduce you to the new object.groupby function, which is available in most modern browsers and it will make grouping items like we've just done an absolute cinch. The group by function has been implemented in Chrome and Edge 117 and Firefox 119 and there are some browsers that haven't yet caught up and I'll let you know later on in the video what's not supported. Let's have a look at our animals array again and see how we can use the object.groupby function to create the separate groups for each of the types of animals. To use the new function, we pass the array of items that we're working with into the first argument for the static object.groupby function. The second argument that's passed to the function is a callback function which sets the unique property or group name for the item that we're looking at. In other words, the callback needs to return a string to let the group by function know which group each particular item should live in. When the function runs, you can see it gives us the same result as using reduce or a series of filter functions, but it's obviously a lot neater and easier to remember. So whilst grouping lists of animals is great, what are some practical examples of when we might use the group by function? Let's look at some practical examples. So our example here is fetching some data from an API to create some product cards which are then displayed to the user. And it's a simple bit of code that fetches the data from the API which returns an array of products all with different types. We would then normally filter or reduce these items to get them into different categories so that they can be grouped to be displayed to the user. And the object.groupby function simplifies this process for us and with one line of code we're able to get a nicely formatted object that has all of the category strings set as the keys. Then we can pass the entries of the object to a function to create all of the markup necessary for each category to then display to the user. But we don't just have to return the value of one of the properties inside of our list of objects. We can customize the name that the group by function is using for the groups by returning any string that we like. For example, maybe we want to merge any of the items that are in the smartphones or the laptops categories and return them as one group called tech. This is simple to do inside the callback for the group by function. All we need to do is have a simple if statement to check if an item is in the smartphones category or the laptops category. And if it is, we'll return the string of tech. Of course, we could get a bit more clever in how we're actually generating that string for each of the groups, but this demonstrates that it's pretty easy to create your own custom groupings. So any time that you have an array of mixed items that has some kind of common property that distinguishes them, you can use the group by function to condense them all down into a grouped object. And don't forget, this is a relatively new feature, so there are some browsers that don't support this at this time, and probably some that never will. And Node.js currently doesn't support it either. 
So it's worth bearing that in mind before you make the jump to using the object.groupby function. And of course, you should always be considering the capabilities of the user's browser in your JavaScript code. So you might want to check out this next video for some tips on how to do just that.